You have clicked on this video because you want to paint the cycle frame DIY with spray cans at home. You are right. In this video I will paint this carbon frame DIY with spray cans, a beginner paint job but with professional quality. Everybody of you is able to do at home, even if you don't have painted the frame before. If you follow me during all the steps I will do on this carbon frame. So let's start to paint the frame. But the spray cans are far, far, far away because we have to start with the dismount of the frame and the removal of the old paint job and the old color. And that's what we have to do at first. Let's start with the scariest part of the paint job, drilling holes in the carbon frame to divide the pussies from the big boys. And if you are a pussy not willing to drill holes in your carbon frame, maybe you should ask your girlfriend and maybe she has bigger balls than you have. But why do I need to drill holes in the carbon frame? Because the cable guides and sometimes the derailleur hangers are mounted with rivets and to remove these cable guides I have to drill these rivets. In this case I have no derailleur hanger but if you have a derailleur hanger you have to remove the rivets to remove this derailleur hanger. And that's the reason why you have to drill holes in your carbon frame. And if you are afraid to drill these holes ask your girlfriend. And now guys comes the fun part, because these cable guides are not only riveted to the frame, they are also glued to the frame. And to remove them I will use a sledgehammer. Woo! I have done this thousand times before, so don't be afraid, I know what I'm doing. And if you are a pussy, use some masking tape and mask these cable guides. Now we have to do the most annoying part of the paint job, the removal of the old color on the frame. And I got a lot of mails from you guys asking if it's really necessary to remove the complete old color. And I say yes it is, because if you don't do so you have a high risk that the solvents in the primer will bubble the old color like bubbling bathing water in your bathtub after you did a big blow off. And if you don't want to have such a blow off and bubbling color on your frame, I recommend to remove the old paint job. And to do so we will use different grids of wet sanding paper. We will start with 400 grit, next grit is 600 grit and the finest grit is 800 grit. And this step divides also the toys from the pros and decides if somebody is laughing at your cringy paint job or somebody gets wet eyes when staring at your high quality paint job you did on your frame yourself. So decide what you want, I recommend to remove the complete color. And it's simple as hell. The only thing you need to do is take a sheet of wet sanding paper and also a bucket of warm water. You know what warm water. And then rub the frame. It's very time consuming, annoying. Maybe you have to invest one or two days to do so. But that decides what somebody says about your paint job and it decides what quality you can produce on your frame. And if you have removed all the color from the carbon frame, start with the next grid of wet sanding paper, a 600 grid, to smooth the surface of the carbon frame. I have linked you all the stuff I use in the video description underneath the video, so you can find all the stuff I use to prepare and to paint this frame. Wakes me into sweaty sheets. Same as last time, rub the frame to smooth the surface. Start with the 600 grit and end with the 800 grit. Mm -hmm. 
When you have finished sanding, you have to buy yourself a cutting knife. The cheapest one is good enough for that DIY project. And you have to buy also some masking tape in different sizes. You can find the links for the masking tape underneath the video in the video description. And what we have to do is we have to mask the bearing seats on the top tube, also on the bottom bracket. We have to mask the rivets and also the mounting points for the axles on this frame. And that's very simple. Use the masking tape in different sizes and mask all these areas. Stop this get right, stop this get right. Before we can spray any color on the frame, we have to primer it. And that's a DIY video, so I will use spray cans, but I will do it high quality. So I have to choose a two component system, 2K, a 2K primer, and that's nearly the same stuff I use in my spray guns. And I decided to use a light colored primer, a light beige, because my frame should be red. And when I use a light color like red, it's also a good idea to use a light colored primer. And I have linked you this primer in the video description if you want to order it yourself. So let's change to the paint booth. And I like to show you how to use this two component system. We have a 2K, a two component system, and that means we have the primer and also the harder in one can. And now we have to mix the primer and the harder. And to do so, we have a little red cap and you have to push this cap into a valve on the bottom of this can. And then you have to wait five to 10 seconds. Turn the can, take the can, and your primer is ready to use. Don't forget to wear a spray mask when spraying with spray cans. And we are ready to go. And I show you how to use this primer on the frame. And that's it, simple and easy. I did two, short, two shots as you have seen. Now it has to dry and then we have to sand the frame again. We have to add another layer of primer and then it's time to change to the color. And you have to sand the primer again in between every layer, also the last layer. And when you have a super slick surface, you're done and we can apply some color. I like to do a white logo on the frame, so I will use shock white as the first color and I use Montana gold. You can use every spray can you have, but be aware that the stickers I will use later on in the process are not compatible with the color you use. I recommend any acrylics if you have different color, make a test piece before you spray your frame. The white has to set a while on the frame, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, we can search for some bike logos. And if you need a bike logo, search on any online platform. In my case, I will use eBay and I type in bike sticker and I get thousands of results. 
and search for the sticker you like, of the brand you like, for the brand of your frame. And I have something special in mind, a special brand. So I have to order my sticker. And when the sticker arrives, we can go on with the paint job. The stickers arrived, so we can stick them on the frame. And I will do a simple box logo, a vintage design with a banderole in a different color to the frame color. But let's check what we have. These are my logos and I have to stick them on. Then we can change to the paint booth or to your garage or wherever you paint your bikes and paint the banderole. And I will use some of my masking tape to transfer these logos to the frame. I stick it onto the sticker. And use a pair of scissors to cut them in half. And then I can transfer all the letters to the frame. And the next color on the frame will be shock red, the red of the box logo. And I do only a light fading. I wait five to 10 minutes and then I will do another fading so I can avoid that the color leaks underneath my stickers. We have the white on the frame, also the red. Now we can remove our stickers and if we have done all right, we have a nice box logo on this frame. Now we have the complete box logo on the frame, the white lettering, also the red background. And that's a beginner paint job, so we can't do things which are too difficult or too fancy. So I decided to do a classic design with a bender roll on this frame, like on vintage bikes. And to do so, we need some masking tape and also a fine line tape for a sharp edge in between the colors. And we don't waste time with measuring. We use the masking tape to measure the space in between the bender roll and the lettering. Use such a strip of masking tape, stick it onto the edge of the E, wrap it around the frame. Now pick a strip of this fine line tape and stick it beside your masking tape and wrap it also around your frame. Now remove the masking tape. Do that also on the opposite side and you have masked the perfect bender roll with the same spaces between the S and the E. And when you have done this, use some other masking tape, which is a bit wider. Stick it onto the fine line tape to mask your bender roll. Do that again and again and again and again, and we are ready to apply the frame color. Now we have to choose the frame color. It's a beginner paint job, but I like to go a bit fancy, so I have to select two colors, and what I will use is a metallic red. I will use the Montana Metallic, and the color code is red. That's the base for my frame, and over this base color, I will spray also an effect color, and I will use some Montana Glitter, it's called Glitter Effect and there are little red flakes inside. And I will link you all the stuff in the video description if you want to order it yourself or you can choose any other color you like. 
And it's simple and easy. The only thing we have to do is spray and color on the frame. Don't forget to wear the mask. I have to say it every time. Don't spray with any mask. Safety first. And that was only a first thin layer and I will add two or three more after the first one runs dry. Let's go ahead with the next layer but only with a light fading. And when we have done this, we are done. You can skip to the clear coat or you can also add an effect color like a flag color, I will do. We have the box logo on the frame, also a nice ruby red and as a little bonus, also some flakes. But what we don't have is a finish and that's the next step, but before we can spray on some clear coat, we have to remove the masking. Looks pretty good, but when you think you are done, you are absolutely wrong. You have to invest another one or two days for the clear coat and the finish to make this frame and the paint job durable and high quality. And I will use the same stuff I used for the primer, a two component system where I have a clear coat and also a hard on the can, the little red cap and the wall on the knees. So I can mix the clear coat and the harder and I have a high quality clear coat system I can use at home or you can use at home when you do a DIY paint job. So that's what we have to do at first. I will give this frame a big shot of clear coat. I'll let it cure. I have to sand the frame again and then I can add a finishing clear coat and the DIY paint job is done. Okay, let's apply some clear coat. I've mixed the clear coat in the can and I will do one big shot and tomorrow I will sand the frame again and I will do the finish shot. The first layer of clear coat is on and it looks pretty good, but not good enough. We want to produce a high quality finish, a supreme finish. And to do so, I have to sand the frame again. We have little gaps in between the colors, also in between the logo and the red stripe and an uneven surface caused by the flakes I sprayed on the frame. And to remove that uneven surface and to smooth the frame for a super slick surface, I have to sand this frame again with 800 grit. and. That's what I like to do now and when I'm done, I can apply the last finishing layer of clear coat.
It's time for the last shot to make this DIY project high quality. The finished layer of clear coat is on and that's how it looks like. Really supreme and high quality for a DIY spray can paint job. And the last thing we have to do is we have to mount the cable guides, also the radio hanger. You need some 2K epoxy, riveting pliers, some rivets, that's all. And I like to show you how it's done. And it's very simple. We need these two cable guides. We have to mix some epoxy in a ratio one to one. One part of the epoxy and one part of the harder. And I need only one little drop, that's a mouth. Also one drop of the holder. I have to mix the epoxy and the holder ratio one to one. And then I can glue on these cable guides and they have a front and a back, so make sure you mount them in the right direction. Put on some of the epoxy. Glue them onto the frame. Use some rivets. And of course the riveting pliers, I've linked them in the description if you need them. We need an adapter to mount these rivets, I have to find the adapter. And that's it, the DIY beginner paint job on the carbon frame, but in high quality. And what I needed was a complete can of 2K primer, also a complete can of 2K clear coat, a complete can of 1K metallic color, and also some shots of shock white, 1K, and some shots of shock red, also 1K. That's all you need, that's the result. And if you want to see more of these DIY projects, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Check also my Insta and Facebook for my daily stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.